The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. Imagining Minnie's fear gave Mickey courage. There was no time to waste. The toy soldier guards were proud and regimental, but to a mouse on a mission, they were mere stepping stones to higher things. Into the castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. What's behind this door? Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. Maybe an apple a day would keep the mushrooms at bay, thought Mickey. Knowing he would need a way to defend himself, Mickey remembered how accurate he always was in the annual apple throwing contest back home. The signpost was created by Miserable, so of course, it had a mischievous streak. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk?
Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. He knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. Mm. Mickey had seen too many strange things to be spooked by the portly poltergeists. In fact, he could make use of them.
Suddenly, Mickey found himself catapulted into the clouds. After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest, but this time with a playing card. Miserable taunted Mickey with her cruel laugh. But perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest with renewed courage. Ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Miserable's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. Gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. <laughs> 
exploring the castle halls, Mickey now...